I'm going to show you a couple of very important topology techniques that you need to understand if you're a beginner. If you understand these simple mechanisms which I'm about to show you, it's going to become much easier for you to model complex shapes without any trouble. In this video, we're going to focus on the AC fan on this Ferrari interior. And specifically, we're going to talk about the topology around these holes, which you can see around this circle. There are many ways that you can create this type of shape. And all of them are going to give you a different result, which is going to affect your workflow in a different way. Just for visibility purposes, I'm going to move this part forward so you can see what I'm talking about a little bit better. And here you can see the geometry of the shape that I'm talking about. If you want to understand how this was created, I'm quickly going to show you that in the next couple of seconds. I first approach the middle of the bottom of this entire circle and I place it. 3D cursor between the two vertices which are exactly around the middle. Then I deleted these faces in the front. I took these six faces underneath here, extrude right click scale to zero on the Z axis, merge vertices by distance. Then I deleted this vertex down here and I filled these two gaps. And that's pretty much how I created this shape. Now the problem is that this can be pretty tricky to do without messing up your topology. So the question is how do you sharpen these corners without messing up the topology? And since there are multiple ways to do this, what is the best way to fix this problem? Now we're using the subdivision surface modifier and we all know that if we add loop cuts with control R like this, we can bring them very close to the edges and those edges are going to become sharp. But in this case, that doesn't work very well because it messes up our shape completely. We added a loop cut right here, which made the entire surface over here a little bit sharper and we don't want that. We also got some tight corners over here on the inside, which doesn't make this edge look very good. And as you can see back here, it looks a little bit too sharp. So this is clearly not the way to go. One way to fix this is adding bevels. So with alt right click, you can select all these edges which you want to sharpen. And then with control B you can bevel these edges You're going to set the shape value to 1 and you're gonna set the number of segments to 2 And while this is going to make your edges a lot sharper You might get some very strange twisting in your topology as you can see right here in the front We got some very long and thin faces over here It doesn't look very clean and this is probably gonna give us some more problems Even though it looks all right when we look at it in object mode The vertices are so close together that we risk accidentally merging these vertices If we try to merge all the other vertices by distance In general it's bad practice to have faces which are this long so this could work in some situations but it's definitely not the best way to do this another technique for solving this which you might be tempted to use especially if you're a beginner because of how easy it is is adding creases and sharps we can tell blender to exclude these edges from the smoothing created by the subdivision surface modifier by just marking them as creases to do that we just have to select them then in edit mode press m go to the item menu find mean crease and crank that shit up to one as you can see this instantly becomes very sharp and probably by default your shading is going to look something like this and you can fix that by going Control e mark sharp and then in object mode, you can go up here to object, shade auto smooth, crank up the angle value, and now this is going to become completely sharp. This might look pretty good to you as you're modeling, but when you render this, this edge is going to be so sharp that it's going to look unrealistic. In reality, no edges are completely sharp, and the shading is going to give this away, and it's not going to look very attractive. If you look at this edge, you can see some reflections on this edge here, and this is what makes it look a lot more realistic. If we just mark this as a sharp, we're not going to get any of that, and it looks like a cheap video game. So this could work for some situations, again but it's not the best way to do this the best way to do this in my opinion is using the inset tool and let me show you what i'm talking about this is not going to work in all cases but in many cases it will work and this is a very good technique for sharpening your corners when other things are not going to work very well first we're going to select all the faces on the inside of this hole like this enter wireframe view and with i we're going to inset this and when we inset this we're going to check edge rail right here just to keep the edges in order and as you can see right here these edges were pushed a little bit further out so we might have to push these outwards and we might have to make some minor adjustments but it's not really a big problem now we got an edge on the inside but we still need an edge on the outside so here's how you place an edge on the outside select all the faces on the inside of this hole like this then press ctrl i to invert the selection so now everything else is selected except these interfaces and now we just have to deselect these faces in the front here and then with i we can inset everything slightly and we're going to get another edge that goes around this entire shape now in this case we already have an edge loop down here below the hole that's why we didn't have to inset this part but if we didn't have this edge the insetting probably wouldn't work very well because of how the geometry has to be redirected as you can see right now we got this little bump and that doesn't look very good at all so in this case it's best to exclude this area from the insetting and then since we still need an extra edge down here we are going to add a loop cut here and since we got a triangle on the inside here you can even add a loop cut over here because now you have a quad but i don't really need that because it doesn't really change the shape in any significant way my topology is already pretty good as is and i I think this is probably the best way to sharpen these edges in this particular
particular situation. But you also saw the other techniques for doing this, so you figure out what works best in your case when you're doing something with your topology. Just remember these techniques when you gotta sharpen your edges. Remember that there are multiple ways to do this, and it usually depends on your situation what the best solution is. If you want to learn more about the modeling techniques that you see me use in my videos, I put everything that I know about modeling and Blender in my ebook, so check that out. But at least like the damn video and subscribe to the channel. Join my Discord with almost 4,000 people if you want to be part of a 3D modeling community. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one.